YTBC, what's the deal? So now that Tyson Fury is the new unified IBF, WBO, and WBA heavyweight champion of the world, where should he go now? I have um, the top 10 of each of those sanctioning bodies pulled up right now. So for the WBA, Ruzan Chagayev is the interim champion. Luis Ortiz, who is getting ready to fight uh, Dominic Brazil, I believe in a few weeks here, is number one. Uh, Tyson Fury was number two. Um, Lucas Brown's number three. Fred Kendall's number four. Shannon Briggs, number five. Uh, number six is Brian Jennings. Number seven is Alexander Ustinov. Number eight is Andre Fedosov. And number nine is Antonio Tarver. And number 10 is Mark DeMore, who is getting ready to fight David Hay. In the IBF, uh, Zar Glaskov is number one. Number two was not rated. Number three is Tyson Fury. Number four is Charles Martin. Number five is Erkin Tepper, who was getting ready to fight Robert Hellenius. Number six is Steve Cunningham, who I've heard he said he wants to go back down to cruiserweight. But now that this stranglehold on the division is over with, with uh, Vladimir Klitschko, he's number six. Number seven is Archer Spilka, who was getting ready to fight my man, hardcore male man Soar. Um, Spilka's a good fighter, too. Number eight is Lucas Brown. Number nine is Anthony Joshua. Number 10 is Carlos Takam. WBO rankings, they had Tyson Fury, number one. That's how we got this title shot. Uh, number two is Charles Martin. Um, number three is Anthony Joshua. Number four is Zar Glaskov. Number five is Joseph Parker. Number six is Alexander Povetkin. Number seven, Andre Fedosov. Number eight, Andrew Ruiz Jr. Number nine, Edmund Gerber. And number 10, Erkin Tepper. Now, I have heard Tyson Fury say that he wants to unify the division in his first defense. Um, so that would be nice to see that fight with Deontay Wilder. I've heard rumors about Deontay Wilder possibly fighting Czar Glaskov in January. Um, so I don't expect Alec, I don't expect Wilder and Fury to fight in January, obviously. But somewhere down the road, I'm hoping late summer, maybe the summertime. But you know what? Fury has the title, and all of these guys are good fights. Unless he goes outside the top ten and fight one of the lower. Uh, like the guys in the top 15. But if he fights a top 10 opponent in any of these three organizations, it's going to be a good fight. Uh, Charles Martin is getting ready to fight Dominic Brazil. I would, you know, he's a WBO. He would probably be elevated to number one contender at WBO now instead of number two. That would be a good fight. I want to see what Martin looks like against Brazil. Brazil's a six foot seven guy. Martin's about 6'5", I believe. Southpaw likes to box and move. Probably show Fury some trouble. I'm not sure. Um, any of those guys in WBO, Zar Glass calls number four. Joshua number three, Parker. I mean, any of these matchups, man, he's going he's gonna to be uh, matched up tough in his first the defense if he fights somebody in the top ten. In the IBF, Glasgow, uh, Martin, Tepper, Spilka. I'm, I'm not sure he'll give Cunningham another a rematch. Um, well, Spilka's, Spilka's fighting Mansoor. Luis Ortiz getting ready to fight Brian Jennings. Maybe he can fight the winner of that. That's in the WBA. He's going to be matched tough. Even if he fights Deontay Wilder, obviously that's a tough matchup. So, I don't see an easy road for Tyson Fury. He doesn't seem like the type of person who's going to take the title and keep it hostage. Only fight I wouldn't mind seeing him keep the title hostage for is if David Hay beats Mark DeMore, who was rated number 10 by the WBA. DeMore is rated 108 by BoxRec, but he is rated number 10 by the WBA. Now, if Hay can beat him and look very impressive, I'm sure the WBA wouldn't mind ranking him. Uh, being that David Hay is a former unified champion, he was undisputed at cruiserweight, and he won the WBA strap from the big giant um, Nikolai Valuev. Uh, I thought Valuev lost to Holyfield, but that's neither here nor there. I wouldn't mind if he keeps the title hostage for that fight, and of course I wouldn't matter. I wouldn't mind if he keeps the title hostage for the Anthony Joshua Dillian White um, matchup. So if he keeps the title hostage and keeps it in the UK. All those guys, well, Dillian, White, and Hay aren't ranked in any of the organizations, but Anthony Joshua is. Man, the UK heavyweights are uh, on fire right now um, as far as, you know, bringing some charisma back to the division, and I don't think these guys are stiffs, but props to Tyson Fury. What do you guys think he should do with the title, man? Or do you think he should fight somebody outside of the top 10 and do what these, you know, welterweights and junior welterweights do after they win titles? They pretty much try to take breaks and, uh, you know, pick easier opponents. But Tyson Fury just doesn't seem like that type of guy that just wants to take easier opponents. 
Now, it's a difference uh, for a fighter being on your way up and fighting all, you know, top contenders so you can get your shot. But once these guys win the title, you know, they go from waking up at 5 in the morning and, you know, running up hills and, uh, you know, going to hit the bag and going to the gym. And then they turn into silk pajamas and, you know, they don't train as hard uh, because they've already made it. And a younger, hungry fighter comes up and beat them. But Fury, you know, he showed he was extremely hungry for this fight. He came in 15 pounds less than, than he did uh, at the top of the year when he fought, I believe, Tor Hammer is who he fought at the top of the year. But props to Fury. What do you, you guys want to see him do? Should he fight Deontay Wilder for his first defense and try to uh, make an undisputed champion? Or should he take his time but still fight top 10 contenders, probably get a fight or two, and then build up the fight? I think the fight will be, uh, it can build up itself being that they're, you know, we're looking for an undisputed champion. Even when Vladimir, although Vladimir was very dominant in his reign, he was never undisputed champion. He had 18 consecutive title defenses, successful. He was 25-2 and two in championship fights, and he also had a reign before he became uh, dominant over the last 10 years when he beat, um, when he had the title. Who did he beat for that WBO strap? I forgot who he can't think right now on top of my head. But he won the WBO strap, and he had about five defenses of that uh, before he got blitzed by Corey Sanders. But what do you guys think he should do with Fury should do with the title? Let me know. YTBC. I'm out.